What's up guys, Joyization here. I just wanted to share a quick FPS boost fix for Icarus. I've been playing it for the past few hours and I've seen all the complaints about it performing really poorly on high spec systems like RTX 3080 systems with 5900Xs. And you can clearly see it's not optimized to use all threads on a CPU. It's only using uh, six cores. Uh, I think the physical cores, as you can see in my utilization to the top left, but that is not the problem behind the optimization and poor performance. There's actually a bug, like I've discovered a full-on bug that I don't know how it made it to release, but it tanks FPS hard, this bug. And it's a really weird bug because you don't expect it to make it to release, uh, that this kind of bug. So, as you can see here, I've just come out of the space pod, wherever it is, uh, over there, and I'm on around 40 FPS walking in the woods. And to make things worse, I thought that the game really is like this, like I thought that, you know, it's on quality mode, I don't want to set it all the way to performance, which it, it defaulted to performance, because I think whoever tried to optimize this game for different graphics cards, you know, presets, I don't know if it detects my graphics cards, it tried to um, give me performance mode, because they couldn't get better performance, but the bug is not to do with FSR and the in-game settings, the bug is to do with, and now this is just my opinion based on, you know, testing countless games, um, the bug is to do with the in-game materials and textures or something to do with a texture or material in the game when it's too close to the camera. Uh, basically, when the camera is zoomed in, which is what Field of View does, it tanks your FPS. So just pay attention to this grass, for example. Um, we're looking down at this grass, and maybe it's the terrain, maybe it's just the rendering engine, but I do have the settings cranked up. So you can see here, 42 FPS, we can see all this nice grass, okay? And I played with all the settings. None of them did the trick. Like, I got my FPS up to about 60 by turning stuff all the way down. But it was not a substantial boost. The broken setting is this one. So, if I turn this... It's so dumb. They, they, they didn't even fix this setting properly. Like, they haven't even optimized the field of view at all. Because it lets you break the game. You can turn it up to 170 and you'll get super fisheye zoomed out. You can see all the mountain range... Uh, in the center of your screen and, and yeah you become a dot in the middle of your screen but if i set it up to about 110 which most people will stick to 80 80 or 90 or they'll just leave a default if you set it up to 110 look at my fps now i'm at 70 fps i was on 40 before at this same scene so yeah uh that's the fix at least on my system which is fairly uh high to mid to high end um, in terms of the overall ranking tier of graphics cards and CPUs, it does go higher. But on this system, I was getting 40 FPS, and I've heard of RTX 3080 users complaining about horrible performance. Um, the field of view slider can literally fix that. And it, but don't turn it all the way up, though. If you turn it up to like 130, 120, you'll get completely broken distant shadows and flickering shadows, as you can see here on the screen. Uh, see this broken shadows over there? That is just from having the field of view too high. So obviously the setting itself is not that good. It hasn't been tweaked. Hasn't been optimized. I can break my field of view, um, which shouldn't happen in a release title. But around 110 seems to be a sweet spot for ultra wide, where my shadows are not broken and flickering. Uh, maybe off in the really far distance, you can see a little bit of shadow flickering. But the performance gain is substantial. I'm now at around 80, 70 to 80 FPS. And the default setting, I'll just restore defaults here back down to 80. Look at this, 48 FPS. How bad is that? So... 50 FPS, let's just say 50 FPS, 50, and then turning it up to 110. This, this is having the opposite effect that it normally has. When you turn field of view up in other titles, in open world titles, turning field of view up normally tanks your FPS further. This is boosting FPS, having the opposite effect, which is where I think one of the materials it's zooming into when it's too close to the map or something just to do with the game engine breaks. Um, but as you can see, 50 to 80 FPS or 78 FPS. So... That's a 28 FPS gain from going from 80 field of view to 110 field of view. Um, did I even set it to 110? Was that 105? 110. So yeah, um, stay stay under about 120 so you don't get broken shadows, but you can see the shadows here are perfectly fine. And I have settings ranked um, epic and high. Um, and as well, you can turn these down. I turned volumetric down because I noticed about a 10 FPS difference having it on, especially when clouds are on the screen. But again, you get the day-night cycles. That still works perfectly fine. You can still see the planets. Um, and you can see here the FPS is going up to 115 now uh, with volumetric off. 
But just to give you that example, um, I'm on 106 or something, and when I turn that volumetric clouds on, thankfully it lets me turn them on and off, I lose about 10 FPS. So I was on 106, and now I'm down to 90. So that's, that's just to prove the volumetric clouds are hurting performance. Um, and even when I look down, I'm not even looking at the sky anymore. I'm still down at 84 FPS, but again, that's kind of in the normal range um, of, of what this fix can do. And turning it off, like, uh, let's just double check here, 79 FPS. Let's see if turning it off does anything to the normal 82. Okay, so it's only about a 3 FPS hit if you're not looking at the sky. So technically, you could still run volumetric clouds. It's not that intensive. But the main point being is that the field of view should not be behaving this way. Um, seeing more of my screen should be lowering my FPS. And it, I gain, like, almost about 30 FPS from turning it up. Okay, so let, let me walk back and forth here. 78 FPS, weird flickering shadows in the distance. Back to default, do we get the flickering shadows? No, the gr more grass is being drawn. It's affecting the grass distance. That must be it. So yeah, the grass. But I swear, I, I tried, like, I actually turned this down, though. I turned view distance down to normal. You can't, oh, you can do it in the game, so... If I set that down to medium, does that give me the same boost? Like, now none of the grass is there, right? Am I going up to 80 FPS? No, it's not. I'm not even getting any distant grass. So, it's weird. That's really weird, because it seems like that's what field of view is doing. It's affecting the grass render distance. That's, like, the main thing I could notice, apart from the field of view being wider. Um, what about low? Yeah, see, even low, like, where I'm not getting any trees distance, it's still only going to 60 FPS. So it is just something to do with a bug with um, the game engine and the field of view slider, I suppose. Uh, the field of view is just broken at 80. And then once you turn it up to like 100, even 100, I won't even turn it up to 105. Once I turn it up to 100, I go up to 82 FPS. And it's like the same amount, though. That's the weird thing. It's the same. Like, it, even though I turned the view distance down, it's not the view distance that was really... Like, stuff was disappearing, obviously. But having it on Epic does not tank me down to 60 FPS. I'm still on 73, and I'm seeing, like, I didn't have to tweak that to get better performance. It's just a field of view slider. So I'm rambling on a bit. I'm just demonstrating it, though, for anyone that was curious, like, is that, is he really know what he's talking about? Well, um, I am still testing, but it does seem like the field of view is just broken. The field of view slider itself um, damaging the performance or impacting the performance way more than it should. Like, yeah, see, I'm zooming in more, but I've got less on my screen. So maybe stuff's still being rendered uh, out of the screen. Maybe that's the problem. Because, yeah, turning it... Yeah, lowering field of view. Uh, yeah, no, really weird. And then I'm just going to go back to 100. 100. Even 100 was great. Uh, more than playable. And then I can tap the FPS to 65 here to smooth it out a little bit more. And you can see the frame latency, the consistency is much better that way. And I'm saving on power consumption uh, on the GPU as well, which will help get the temps down uh, from this rather intensive, you know, doing this kind of stuff uh, in the big foliage. foliage. But, you know, the best thing you can do after you've done these fixes, though, is turn it off. Turn off the FPS counter. And then you can just enjoy the game. So anyway, guys, I ho hope that helped some of you out, and um, if it did, please leave a like and maybe comment uh, on your results just to help other people out, because the more people show that the fix is working, the more likely it's going to get spread um, to the community. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.